大家好，我是苏建国。I'm in Guangzhou's Huangpu District here in Guangdong Province. Why am I here? Because Huangpu has built a biotech island. That's right, a biotech island. What is going on here? This is Guangzhou Guoji Shongwu Dao, or Guangzhou International Bio Island. Now, just over a decade ago, Bio Island was a small island in the Pearl River, not much going on. But since 2011, this has become the heart of Guangzhou's biotech industry. Hundreds of biotech enterprises are gathered here on the island, conducting research and creating cutting-edge technology. And the island has become something of a must-see tourist attraction, where cutting-edge technology is this side by side with ecology and nature. So, what was once a rather unremarkable island has been transformed with the addition of some truly incredible architecture. So, I'm going to have a look around today. Now, Bio Island is all about intelligent technology, so it only makes sense that I use the most intelligent form of transport to get around. This is Robobus. Beep boop beep boop. It's quite cute, isn't it? It's actually a driverless electronic minibus. It's become an essential part of the commute here for employees working at enterprises on Bio Island. I am not an employee. I'm just a tourist. But tourists can use it too. So all aboard. <laughs> so this is actually my first time on a driverless vehicle. Oh. And we're off. I'm a little bit nervous because, look, no brake pedals in front of me, no steering wheel, no gear shift, nothing at all. Just me and the open road. It's a bit like a sci-fi movie where the main character just rides around on a bus. I'm feeling much better. I'm not nervous at all now. It feels quite safe. Apparently, it can run on expressways, urban roads, and tunnels during rush hour. I might be a bit more nervous if this were rush hour. It's not, so we're okay. Come to a red light, and the bus stops. Incredible. As you can see, Bio Island, so lush, so green. So that is how people who commute. To this island, get around. This service has been available to the public since 2021. Obviously, there were lots of testing prior to that, and、uh, it's free of charge to employees of enterprises who work here on the island, and free of charge to citizens who visit the island for sightseeing and tourist purposes. That's me. So we've got autonomous taxis driving alongside us. Autonomous street sweepers on the other side of the road. There, it feels very, very futuristic. In terms of control, you can see up top there is a screen, and that's basically how this bus is navigating. Oh, wow! It's even got a <laughs> horn. <laughs> that's quite good. It was far more relaxing than I thought it was going to be. And our journey is is now coming to an end. Success. That was quite a unique experience. As you can see, there is a fleet of robo buses here on Bio Island. Now, aside from the robo buses, there are robo taxis in use,、uh, robo sweepers, that's、uh, autonomous sanitation trucks, and also driverless food delivery carts, like these little guys over there. They're just being loaded up. With food to be delivered, so it's a little bit like the movie Transformers in real life here on Bio Island. If Transformers were about convenient travel, convenient food delivery, and clean roads, so not much like the movie. Bet better, better than the movie, better. So this building here behind me. This huge building is the Guangzhou Lab, Guangzhou Shiyan Shi, led by Zhong Nanshan, China's renowned respiratory disease expert. Inside this giant lab here on Bio Island, there is pharmaceutical development taking place. 
biomedical research, the development of drugs to save millions of lives. And Zhong Nanshan spends a significant period of time here every month. Apparently, you can bump into him running on the road if he's here. It's not here right now. It's probably inside working. There's lots of people walking around the island because it's lunchtime and all the em employees of the enterprises come out to eat. Now away from the high tech, Bio Island is also an ecological oasis here in the heart of the Pearl River. So here in the southwest of Bio Island is Shui Di Huayuan. This is Shui Di Huayuan, or Water Drop Garden. It's a place where people can come and learn about the history and importance of water recycling in Huangpu District. But the most interesting thing is, right here below my feet is China's very first ever fully buried reclaimed wastewater treatment plant. It was built back in 2010, it covers an area of 10,000 square meters. All of the sewage treatment equipment is underground and the reclaimed water is used to clean the roads and replenish the lakes and make the entire bio island green. And this is one of those green areas. This is Shui Muya, or the Ink Garden, one of the most popular tourist spots here on Bio Island. Plenty of green spaces, relaxing places to unwind and rest, which is, I'm gonna take a walk around Ink Garden. So that was Bio Island. Might not be what you were expecting. Certainly wasn't what I was expecting. It's far more beautiful than I imagined. When you hear the words Bio Island or Biotech Island, it makes you think of a sci-fi movie, maybe, or a 007 movie. Although this is certainly more peaceful than a 007 movie. But just like 007, this video has a handsome British guy. No, no. Me. I'm the handsome British guy. Oh, handle to go on. No.